Hi, I'm Mark Levy, the Sourdough Simpleton, with the beginning of a new series here on this channel. Now, every endeavor, job, or hobby has its own set of terms that comprise a jargon, a lexicon of terms that are universally understood and allow communication between participants. The world of sourdough is no exception, but newcomers to this world, such as your friendly sourdough simpleton and many of you, often find the terms confusing, with the need to get up to speed in order to understand various information sources, recipes, and even websites. So this series from the Sourdough Simpleton is designed to review terms that I have encountered, maybe even used, to help other newcomers learn the language of this growing passion. Let's begin with the term sourdough itself. Sourdough refers to a group of breads and bread products that are produced with a natural yeast rather than the packaged commercial yeast found on the shelf of your local market. That yeast, along with lactobacilli, a type of bacterium, and other microorganisms, is present naturally in the flour used for baking. By mixing the flour with water and waiting a bit, these microbes germinate into a natural yeast that provides the leavening for bread. Byproducts of the yeast metabolism often impart a sour flavor, subtle or strong to the bread, thus the name sourdough. Typical sourdough bread contains just flour and water, with some allowed to ferment to produce the natural yeast and a little bit of salt. And that's it. There are many, many variations, of course. Yet if you think about it, before commercial yeast became a fixture for making bread, after Charles and Max Fleischmann introduced their manufactured yeast at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1876, all bread was a type of sourdough. Well, that's it for today. We'll have more next time in the lexicon of sourdough here on The Sourdough Simpleton.